own router here. And previously I'd made a couple bucklers, uh, most notably this homemade one. I just used a steel bowl and a piece of wood and then edged it with a bike tire. I made another one that was a little smaller. This one's a little under 12 inches. The other one's a little under nine inches. And then I figured, you know what I really need is a steel buckler. And I looked at some websites, uh, some purveyors, and they're fairly inexpensive, but it just happened that I had a friend of mine who had a um, bunch of sheet steel lying around, fairly thick. And um, I asked him, could I have a piece? And he said, sure. And I said, uh, so, um, thanks. And he said, how are you going to cut it? And I said, well, I'll use a hacksaw and I'll just go. And he said, oh, that'll take too long. Let me cut it out for you. So he had an acetylene torch with a cutting, um, end on it. So he just cut it out and I took it home and I started hammering out, uh, the center to make a boss. It's not the deepest boss in the world and it's not entirely done. This is, this is part two, but it's not the end. So before I had it hammered out, uh, more or less like this, um, and I said I just needed to hammer it a little more to make the boss a little deeper, then drill holes to attach a candle and clean up the edge. Well, I uh, just wanted to see how it felt in the hand. And it's going to be lighter, obviously, once I trim the edge, but um, and a little more comfortable once I make the boss a little deeper. But I just wanted to see what it was like, so I drilled two holes. Also, I wanted to drill the holes before I worked it too much and it got, you know, hard. Uh, so I drilled two holes, uh, put two nails in, and then I, I had a handle that just kind of steps up a little bit. So it's not entirely flush with the back because the boss isn't all that deep, as you can see. Uh, then I just put a little hook on there to hang it. Now, this isn't the final thing, obviously. Um, I still have to do the edge, and I want to just remove this handle, throw it away, and hammer the boss a little more to make it, you know, deeper. But I just to get an idea of what it what it's like in the hand, I, I couldn't resist. I said, you know what? Um, it's not done, but what the hell? And you know, I gotta say, this is this is pretty cool. Um, you know, the, the wooden ones are really light, and a lot of reproductions are very heavy. But when you when you have a metal one in your hand. Uh, it, it just feels different. It's uh, the fact that it is metal, the fact that it's not just a piece of plywood or pine with a, with a bowl on the front. Um, you know, it, it does handle differently. It does make that, you know, metal ding when you when you hit it just so. And um, it, it's just so cool to have a metal one. Um, it's a little neater to have a metal one that I made, but, you know, there we go. I... Uh, I figured, why not, right? Um, so right now I'm just waiting on um, when I get a chance, uh, hopefully sometime this weekend, I'm going to make a, I don't really have any forms or uh, anything to hammer it into that's domed. Uh, so what I've been doing is I've been actually hammering it on just layers of cardboard so I don't ruin the, the garage floor. And it's been sinking into the middle. Now what I've what I'm going to try and do is get a nice piece, thick, thick piece of wood and cut out a circle in the center and then start hammering it there. And hopefully it'll give it more of a defined edge there, um, as well as allow me to go deeper uh, and, and draw the boss out a little more. I don't want it to be huge, but I want it to be more of a distinct dome than it is now. Right now it only comes out about an inch. So, um, you know, I can get my hand in there with a grip that has a bit of a curve, but my knuckles, they're not necessarily touching, but they come close. And if I was wearing a glove, they'd be touching. It would be jammed in there. So I want to give it a little more room. Worst case scenario, I could always just have a more curved handle, um, but uh, I wanted to try and give it more of a distinct boss. And then I do want to obviously clean up the edge. And when I clean up the edge, I'll be facing a choice, how big to make it. Obviously, I can't, you know, depending on where the where the handle's going to end, I can't have the handle stick out past the end of the the, the um, not shield uh, buckler. I can't have the handle stick out past the end of the buckler. So if the handle's going to come out to here, it can't be further out than there. If it's going to come out to here, it can't be you know further close in than there. But 
you know, even assuming I left the handle on this far, and that, that that's up to about there, so that's okay. It's a little bit of leeway on each side of the where the where the holes go through. Um, that's still going to allow me to trim a good bit off, and this may go from being just under 11 inches to around nine inches, which is what I was shooting for as a size. Um, when I made my wooden buffers, I made this one, which is just under 12. It's like 11 and three quarters or something. And uh, then I made another wooden one, which is just under or around nine inches. Uh, I think like 8.6 or something. And nine inches was kind of what I was shooting for. I wanted more of a medium size, so nine or 10 inches. So if I do trim, if I do trim some off, Right now, this is about the same size as this, just a little smaller. Once I, I mean, if I were to just even the edges, it would be a little bit smaller than this. But if I were to take it into about there, all the way around, uh, that would be like the perfect size that I'm going for. So um, anyway, I have my, I have my first, hopefully first of many homemade bucklers. And um, yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, it's definitely, you know, you look at the thickness of this, this hopefully should stand up to a good, a good bit of battery. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this and I just, I just couldn't wait. I was like, you know what, uh, let me, let me just get an idea for what a metal buckler feels like in the hand. Um, and uh, there you go. It's, it's pretty cool, you know, yeah, even in its unfinished state, it's just nice to have one of these. So. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely an improv thing. It's not going to look like a finished one. That's okay. Right. Um, you know, it's, it's handmade. Like they did it back in the 1300s. Right. I mean, that's, that should be how we roll. Right. Lone Rider out.